Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me at Ryan Dome. My name's Ryan, and guys, I've got a brand new Unity tutorial for you today. So a lot of you guys have been asking for a cutscene or dialogue, and this is the best that I could come up with um, in the simplest way. If you guys really want cutscenes, you got to do animation and all these things. Um, but this is just a simple camera pan uh, with words that you can interact with. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. So you can see how the camera pans over the scene here. And then it says, you must get to this door without falling down. And you click all right. And the camera flips back and you have the options of playing or exiting the game. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a rig like this. Uh, it's really easy. It only takes one uh, JavaScript. And this is just, this is the map that I made, but it basically uses the new Unity UI canvases. I'll explain that. And um, yeah, let's get started. All right, so I have a blank scene here, except for a plane in it. Um, and to begin with, I gotta explain a little bit how the, uh, the camera mechanism works. So you need two, at least two anchors. So I have anchor A and B here, and these are just points. These aren't, they don't have to be actual cubes. These are just for reference sake. Uh, so you have A and B. Um, the mechanism, in this mechanism, we're gonna make the camera go to A first. We're gonna make it that A has a button to go to B. So the camera's gonna go to A, then to B. So let's create the, uh, let's look at the JavaScript for this. So this is this is all the code, and let me explain this in a little bit. A little bit. So we have the anchor position, right? So we have the first anchor position here, all right, and we say the camera speed. So this is just a default value. So it's going to say it's going to move to this anchor one at this speed right here. So in the function update, it's going to transform dot position. So this is the like the physical movement of it across the X, Y, and Z axis for the camera. And then it's going to transform the rotation, which is the rotation, so which way it's facing, so that the camera is always facing in the same direction. Um, and then we're going to have a function set anchor. So when we click the button, it's going to call this function, and it's going to set the new position of the anchor. All right, so um, let's let's implement this. Now you can't just attach this script to the camera. You actually have to create a empty game object, and we're gonna name this camera. And you have to drag the main camera onto that camera. And the reason for this is because in the camera we only have position, the transform, which is what we want to use. In the main camera, we have all this other stuff, which could mess things up in the long run. So we use camera, and we're going to drag our JavaScript onto this. Now we're going to give it the anchor position of anchor A. Okay, so when we hit play now, we do some funky stuff. What are we doing? Okay, um, where are we? Oh, we're way up there. And why is it doing that? Oh, okay. So it's doing that because the camera... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the main camera is sitting here. However, that empty game object that we created and named it camera is way over there. We got to center this at zero, zero, zero. So that it's lined up with our camera. Now we can do that. And now if we hit play, we'll will be up on top. So you see how our camera has moved from the original position to there. And that that's that's good. That's what we want it to do. Um, but now we need it to do something else. Or unless that's all you want it to do, then you could just have it do that. But I would like it to have a button that says go back to blue or something. So the way we do this is we actually have to use the new Unity UI and I am currently using uh, 4.60F, if this helps you at all. So cl right click over in the hierarchy, right click, go to UI, 
and click on button. Now it is going to give you this massive, gigantic, I don't, I don't giant square thing. Um, this is not necessary. I don't know why the default, oh, buzzing. I don't know why the default is super huge, but let me try and explain this a little bit. Over on the right, you'll see a whole bunch of options. Make sure you're on Canvas. Um, right now, if we hit play, we always have this button in the bottom left, and we don't want that. We want it to be physically in the scene space. So we go to scene space, and we do world space. Sorry, we want it to be in the world, not the scene. So now, if we click play, we don't see it, and that's because it's a giant button way out in the middle of nowhere. So let's scale this down. So scale 0.2, or probably 0.2, because this is so massive. 0 0.02, uh, 0 0.02, and let's center its position um, closer to the camera. So, if now we look at it. It's still big, but it's more of a reasonable size. I think if I did one, mm, zero, nine, uh, zero, five, that's probably good. Zero, zero, five. 005. Okay, so we now have this canvas that's a little bit smaller in size, and we can drag this near the red cube. All right, so now when we hit play, our camera, we got a button option. That's good. Um, this button, however, is very small. So if we go into canvas, we'll click on button, and we will just scale this button up so that it's reasonably bigger like that's probably good right there um also i saw this a lot this button does not look good the text on it so we click on the little arrow click on text then we go format size or scale we'll go 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 and we'll change the font size up and make sure we have it on horizontal overflow over overflow and overflow and it's a lot more crisp a lot of people were having a problem with this and no there's not any like resolution to it or a lot of people don't know how to change it so that's a nice way to change it so now we have this big button boom button and you can go through here and make it so like the highlighted color makes it green and the pressed color is red you know you could go in there and make it personalized and so now you get this weird flashing christmas colors great all right but we want this button, when we press it, to make the camera go from the button to the blue block. So if we click on our button, we'll see on click. And this is like the interaction, what happens when you click the button. So we're gonna click an add, we're gonna get a game object, and we're gonna go to our camera. Now this is the camera object, uh, that's this. The camera object that only has our script on it, not the physical main camera. Hope that makes sense. Okay. Um, we're also going to need a function, and we'll go to the camera moving, and we'll do a set anchor transform. So on click, it's going to reach for this camera, it's going to reach for our JavaScript, and it's going to change the transform of the blue block. So anchor B. We'll drag that in there. And I believe that is it. If we hit play, we'll zoom in on this button, and if we click the button, We'll go to the blue. So as you see, we're at the anchor blue. Um, so all you have to do is if you don't wanna see the anchors, you can select them both. You can remove the box collider and the mesh renderer. And that is it guys. Oh, make sure you're not in play mode when you do that too. Make sure you're remove component, remove component. And now when you play, you'll have a button and yeah. That is it, guys. Um, oh, and one more thing. Let me just demonstrate this. If I'm on anchor B and I put anchor B like way up here and angled it down like so, the camera will pan to wherever it is. So now we're up here more. I hope you liked this tutorial. Um, if you did, make sure you leave a like, comment. If you have any questions, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button 
2015. We're going to make this an awesome year, and we're going to make a lot of awesome games. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.